Hey, Tony here. I'm uh, down in Missouri at Thousand Hill State Park. It's a beautiful park, a beautiful lake. Uh, but uh, I wanted to share some things with you. It's a couple of different trees. I've talked about maple syrup in the past, but uh, this tree here is birch. And the bark on birch has been used to process and get the oil out. And that's been used for different medicinal purposes. But what I wanted to talk about here is uh, extracting this sap the same way that you would for maple syrup to make birch syrup. Now, birch syrup has got a, a different flavor than maple syrup, uh, but it's delicious. It takes about a hundred or more gallons of birch sap to make one gallon of birch syrup. And you do that by cooking it down. But uh, <coughs> it's uh, birch syrup is also used to make birch beer and soda. Uh, it's like root beer as far as the soda goes, but it's got a distinct birch flavor. It's really good. The birch syrup alone is great on pancakes like you would maple syrup, but you can also use it for making candies and uh, flavoring different foods, uh, coffee, for example. Um, and also behind me here, in the distance, the bigger trees with the distinct white top is sycamore, American sycamore. And you can extract the sap on that also. Sometimes people have a hard time with that. Um, it doesn't have a lot of pressure that pushes the syrup out. So sometimes they have to use a vacuum pump for that. But if you can't catch it right at the right time, right when the tree's going to freezing, you want late season sap on that, but the syrup itself has a distinct butterscotch flavor. So that's quite a bit different than maple syrup. Uh, so it's delicious uh, uh, to be used for a lot of different purposes also. If you like butterscotch, you'll really like that. Um, for birch syrup, it takes like 130 gallons of sap to make one gallon of the syrup. Which explains, you know, it takes a lot of sap from a maple tree to make a gallon of syrup also. So that explains why real maple syrup or birch syrup or sycamore syrup is expensive. It takes a lot of time, but the payoff is great. So birch here, uh, sycamore in the back, and uh, boy, you know, if you're uh, actually collecting the, the syrup on birch trees, for example, they're usually in a pretty big clump, quite, of them, uh, quite a few of them together, and this is actually kind of a smaller example. Uh, so you can collect a lot of syrup in not that much time, really. So. Just wanted to share that with you while I was down here in Thousand Hill State Park. It's right outside of Kirksville, Missouri. Beautiful park. If you get a chance, come down and visit it. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day.